my name is Prosper Christopher Simpemba. I'm a faculty member in the Department of Physics at the Copper Belt University. Uh, the Copper Belt University is a host for the Southern African Regional Office of Astronomy for Development, which is a regional office of the Office of, for Astronomy for Development, OAD. So that's how I get connected to the OAD through uh, Sarod as a regional coordinator. In, in, in the past, really people never used to understand the relevance of astronomy. So when you talk about astronomy, for example, in Zambia, they would just associate it basically to stars and uh, they thought nothing was important, that nothing could contribute to development. So with the coming of the OAD, I think in 2011, and the formation of the regional offices, uh, we started um, to, you know, to, to bring awareness to the people so that they understand that astronomy actually is not just about stars, but it also touches on the general well-being of the people because of the spin-offs from the activities of astronomy. So having undergone even some winter schools, workshops, uh, I've, I've come to understand the importance of astronomy and the role that it plays to development. And actually we have um, now uh, created interest in the young people because um, in, in 2016, we ran an Astrolab workshop at the Copper Belt University with students, with university students. And also we've been running outreach so people have actually um, begun to appreciate that astronomy is not just really about stars, but there are a lot of spin-offs that, that come and contribute to development, including computing, uh, communication, the skills that you get in communication, and, uh, yeah, and all those related things to, to the economy, like astro-tourism. So the coming of the OED, I think, has really changed things and the perception of astronomy in the region. Yes, of course, when, when the OED just started, um, the expectations were, were very high. And um, I'm happy to say that those expectations that we had when the OED was being formed have, have, have given the desired fruits. Um, the OED has managed to organize regional meetings where I remember in 2016, we, we, we met in Cape Town, all regional coordinators. And I think that was, uh, for me, a great, reu a great reunion with the, the sister regional offices, where I was able to, to learn what the other regional offices were doing. And uh, that really, I uh, think, also changed the way we were doing things at the Southern African Regional Office of Astronomy. Apart from that, I think the OAD has been very instrumental in organizing workshops, but most importantly is the, the funding that has been offered over the years to the OAD call for proposals, including a special call for COVID-19, where we submitted a proposal and we were able to help students with uh, internet access so that they can participate in remote uh, observations with a glass um, education team in the US and we're using their telescopes. And I think from there, we even had the, a publication that was done. So the role that OAD has been playing from organizing meetings, uh, it, it has made uh, the regional offices even operate very well. Um, also the consistency with um, regional meetings, um, they are timely and always held, and this really um, compels the regional offices to reorganize themselves in case of lapse. Because when you know there's a going, a, going to be a regional meeting, you begin to prepare for that, and you check what you haven't done and what you need to do. And that way, it, it, it has kept us uh, going. Uh, those are some highlights, I could say. But I think another uh, great moment that I can you recall which the OAD influenced? It was the, um, the IAU General Assembly in 2018. Uh, we had regional offices exhibiting at the GA. And I think that was uh, very important for regional offices to highlight the activities that, that are going on in the regions. 
So I'm, I'm happy that uh, we, we have heard the news to renew the, the hosting of the OAD uh, in South Africa. Uh, that gives uh, a lot of hope that in the next six years, I think a lot of great works will be done. But maybe uh, I see the OAD playing a much bigger role than in the past in influencing the activities of the regional offices. I think the, um, the, the, the presence of the OAD in the, in the regional activities will still be very important. And uh, I think that will make the regional offices grow. And I think the OAD could look at a, a situation beyond six years where the, the regional offices can, can have a way to stand um, by themselves in case uh, maybe the OAD is, uh, is not renewed after that six years, what will happen to the regional offices? I think this is a big role that the OAD will have to play to make sure that the regional offices have a stronger foundation to exist uh, beyond uh, uh, the next six years. So apart from that, I think um, uh, regional offices need to be encouraged as well to feed back into the OAD so that we, we bring the, um, the the challenges that we have in, in our regions to the OAD and together we can see how we can, we can, we can go uh, over those challenges and mitigate them. So I see the OAD still playing a big role in advancing astronomy as a tool for development, meeting the UN Millennium Development Goals. Um, and in the next coming years, I think we will be able to, to assess um, the achievements that, that, that have been scored. So, but from, from the reviews that have uh, been taken uh, since the inception of the OAD, they are all been positive. And uh, I think I remember the OAD also won some... Uh, some awards, um, the recognition of the OAD role, and the particular you, Kevin. I think you were you were awarded that important uh, uh, accolade. So um, I think there's 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 a lot of hope to even reach to those countries that have not participated in the activities of the OAD or the regional offices. Um, in the coming years, I think the OAD should look at tapping into those countries that have not participated and to see how they can be brought on board so that uh, what is happening in, in certain regions can also spread to those regions and uh, the effect of astronomy for development should be felt by the people globally. Yeah, so maybe first is to congratulate the International Astronomical Union for coming up with the initiative of having the Office of Astronomy for Development. I think the, the concept has paid off because now the, the pressure of doing things at, at the Secretariat of the IAU has reduced because that task has been passed to, to the offices, to the OAD and the other offices that have been formed some sort of decentralizing the activities. In my view, I think that has worked very well for the IAU. And also I should congratulate the OAD for managing to form regional offices. I think we have now 11 regional offices. That, that is a, a big milestone. Congratulations, Kevin.